Good morning guys. Today we're doing a morning cleaning routine. So it is like, what time is it right now? It's not even, is it seven? No, it's gotta be like a little before six is already, I have no idea. But the girls typically wake up around six and same with Owen. So they're all up out there, gotta get a little breakfast for them. But I just wanna show you what our mornings look like as far as cleaning and just things that I do to kinda keep on top of the house and keep it looking not like a total disaster zone all the time. So I hope this is helpful for you guys and motivational and let's get to it. Something that really helps is just to clean up at night before you go to bed. So I always try, not that everything is like spotless, but this is pretty good to me. So before, I sit down to watch TV. I try to get all the dishes clean and just have everything, you know, back to where it belongs so that when I wake up, I'm not having to clean up from yesterday. That's like the worst thing ever. It is 6.37. <laughs> so I'm gonna get myself some coffee, get myself going, and start on my to-do list. Okay, so first thing, I have to make a to-do list every single day. Sometimes I'll make it the night before so that I'm just waking up and knowing exactly what I have to do for the day. So I like to give myself a few things that I have to do for work and then a few things around the house. So on this day in particular, I wanted to clean the floors because they were really bad and also clean the dining table. So sometimes I'll write down like laundry, vacuum the couch, like random things like that. With three kids at home, I. I get a little bit sidetracked all the time. So I have to kind of refocus myself and take a look at my to-do list throughout the day just to kind of figure out what needs to be done. All right, so we are finishing up breakfast here. The girls had some cinnamon raisin bread and some tangerines. So typically when they're eating, I'll just start cleaning up as I go while I'm drinking my coffee or kind of eating a little bit of something for breakfast because I just don't like things to pile up. Obviously they do sometimes, but if I can, I try to just clean as I go so that it's never out of hand. And the kitchen for me is the one place in our house that I, feel has to be clean or else I won't be as productive. So I feel like everybody has some space in their home and if that space is not tidy, then it just seems like you're not in control of your day. So I try to keep the kitchen in order as much as I can. And then once the girls are done eating any meal or snack, I always have them bring their plates or bowls into the sink just so they know that they have to pick up after themselves. And we do the same thing with toys. Uh, once we're done with like blocks or something like that, we'll clean those up before we take something else out. And I just think the girls are starting to really get it and they understand that they can't just take a million toys out all at once. And it's great because it helps keep our house a little bit cleaner, but it also is teaching the girls that they have to have some responsibility for all of their things. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been and then after the girls have had their breakfast, this is when I just like to put everything that I possibly can away. So if there were dishes on the drying rack from the previous night, I try to get those all put away. And so we can just move on to somewhere else, go play outside or whatever it is. And trying to remain strong. I know it's good if I'm alone. I got it. So when the girls were a little bit younger, I remember thinking to myself, 
The one thing I didn't expect after having kids was the amount of cleaning that I would be doing. And I would get really down on myself for it. I would just, you know, be at the sink being like, oh my gosh, all I do is dishes or all I do is laundry. And I would just kind of be really negative about it. And something that I've really trained myself to do now is to not dread cleaning and just try to enjoy it. Like honestly, now when I clean, I think, okay, this is gonna be so great afterwards because it's gonna look so amazing. So for me now, cleaning, I try not to think of it as a chore, as something that is just like an annoying thing that I have to do. I really just think of it as something that's keeping me productive, keeping the house clean and tidy, and just it makes me feel a lot better about a lot of things. So I think you can totally train your mind to have a different outlook on whatever you're doing in life. And even if it's just as simple as little chores around the house, I just have really tried to focus on having more of a positive outlook on the day-to-day -day things because the day-to-day -day things is what's going to make up your life. So it's important to just, you know, stay positive and enjoy the small things. I've also realized that with three kids at home, it's it takes a while to get things done. You're not gonna complete a task right away in the amount of time that you would if it's just by yourself. So just day-to-day -day things that shouldn't take very long end up taking me a long time because kids are a constant distraction. So, you know, you're having to put on princess dresses for them and help them go potty and do all the things. So it's definitely a process, but that's okay. At this point in the day, <clears throat> it's almost eight o'clock. Usually, you know, we've all had breakfast, we've played outside for a little bit, and then we head up into the playroom to hang out and kind of just play. So I've cleaned everything downstairs, now we're gonna go up because they're all kind of melting down. <laughs> it's almost time, well actually Owen was up at like six, so he has an hour to go, you got a big hair in your face. <laughs> an hour to go until his first nap. So here I am making the bed. This is something that I have to do every day. Now I'm trying to think like how often I don't make the bed. It's pretty rare, but maybe like once a week I don't make the bed. But those days are not good days. <laughs> like I swear when I make the bed, it's just, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. If I walk into my bedroom midday and it's just not made, I just feel not good. So got to do this. Trust me, it's going to make your life feel way more in order. And then something that I've been trying to do a lot more of lately is to make the other rooms, like the other bedrooms upstairs. So this is where Violet sleeps. She takes her naps here and she sleeps at, uh, at night here. So it's kind of become her room, like our little upstairs guest room. So I try to make this bed now because they love to play in here. When Owen's awake, I have them play with any like little toys in either this room or their bedroom up on the bed so that he can't get any of them. So it helps a lot if the bed is made, so it's just not like loose toys everywhere. But it is crazy because I never thought that Violet would want to be sleeping in her own room this early on. So we're going to be changing this into her room, I think maybe like at the end of the year, which is just so crazy. 
Okay, moving downstairs. So this is one thing on my to-do list, clean the dining table. It was getting so gross and gunky. So I just really wanted to wipe it down. I'm using the seventh generation wood cleaner on this, but usually I just use all purpose spray, but I figured I hadn't used it in a while. So that's what I'm using here. And just a rag to wipe it down. This is where we eat most of our meals here. And the girls do all their arts and crafts here. So it just, it gets a lot of wear and tear. So I have to wipe it down quite often. And it has a lot of like those wood grooves in it. So everything kind of gets stuck in it. But I do get a lot of questions asking where this table is from. So the table and the chairs are all from Jerome's. And I'm pretty sure they're only in California and specific parts of California. So you'd have to look online to see if they're near you. And then Owen's high chair is by Nuna. So I'll have that link down below for you. I do like it. We had it with the girls. I, this one I saved from them, but sometimes it can be a pain to clean, but it's, it's fine. So here the girls are sitting down with a snack and they're coloring and Owen's down for a nap. So I figured this would be the best time to work on the floors. So first, when I'm cleaning them, I like to vacuum everything up first because we can get some dog hair from Kyla and just crumbs. So I like to have it all clean first before I go in mopping it. And the vacuum that we have is the Animal Dyson. So I'll put that down below for you guys if you're interested in that. And then I'm going in with the Swiffer to clean the floors, but I have been wanting a steam mop for like last month. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I should just get one, but I feel like they're kind of pricey. So let me know if you guys have one and you use one and really love it. Please let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. is still down for his nap. Usually when he's asleep, we do some type of school activity. So we did some tracing today and coloring and our flashcards. We did like a guessing game with it. So I'm just gonna clean this up. The girls just ate some lunch. They put their, I have them put their plates in the sink and I ate a little bit. We're gonna take some lunch to Andrew um, once Owen is awake and then yeah, the Floors are nice and clean. I do want to still go upstairs and vacuum up there. And I brought the Swiffer upstairs too so I can get that done. So I figured once we're all upstairs playing, I can just do the floors up there too and just knock that out. And then I realized I had a lot of laundry for the girls and Owen. So I did a load of their clothes and then I did a load of some towels that needed to be washed too. I don't do particular chores on like certain days. I know some people do laundry every week on the same day. I've never done that, but I actually feel like I tend to do my laundry on Thursdays. But let me know if you guys do that and if it helps a lot with you. I'm 
putting away the girls' clean clothes and putting those into their closet. I feel like our upstairs gets neglected for vacuuming and mopping. I do the downstairs all the time, but I rarely do the upstairs, so I need to get better about doing that. And then if you guys can see, we added this mesh a while ago to our banister to prevent like the girls and also Owen from throwing things down it and also from climbing it. So I need to get one more around the other side. Like you can see it back against that far wall. We don't have any there but I would like to get one more over there because now that Owen is crazy and all over the place, I cannot trust him for two seconds, but I found them on Amazon, so I'll link those down below for you. So usually I like to get my cleaning done when the girls are awake, but Owen is asleep because when he's awake, I am with him all the time like I said, I cannot leave him out of my sight for two seconds. So it's hard to really get any projects or anything done around the house. So when he goes down for a nap, it's like go time for me. And the girls have been playing together so well lately. So it's given me a little bit of freedom to kind of get stuff done around the house when Owen's napping. And then when they're all asleep for the afternoon nap, that's when I'll go into the office and I get some work done. And that's kind of my quiet time. the girls come help clean up their room so I got their clothes mostly put away or at least like categorized I just got to put them away into their closet we got to put all of these away so we can go bring daddy lunch okay all of the toys in your room all of these we'll go put them back in the playroom and then we can go in the car okay yeah that goes in the kitchen okay I got this all mopped which is great Owen is awake drinking his bottle over here little cutie usually like before their nap we'll put away all their toys we'll go downstairs bring everything back up here back where it belongs so that when they wake up for their nap it's just like a clean slate so that is it for my cleaning routine from morning up until the girls go down for a nap okay lovely i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and i will talk to you very soon bye